your uh, professional debuts coming. Is there like a special message or a statement that you'd like to give out to the crowd? Yeah, um, really after, you know, boxing for so long, I've really learned to, to stay motivated, stay positive um, and, and persevere on, on things rather that's in the ring or outside of the ring. Um, whatever life throws at you, you know, just, just stay strong, stay strong minded um, and just persevere. Perfect. Francisco, tell me um, your journey on becoming back to back Arkansas State Boxing Champion. Man, it, it's been a long journey for sure. Um, just to just to get prepared for it, um, the the dieting, the fitness training, boxing, a lot of sacrifice for it too. It's been a long journey, but a rewarding journey as well. Um, being back to back champion, not a lot of people can say that they've done that. Um, and so that's it's, man, it's been long, but but rewarding for sure. Yeah. Congratulations! Thank you. Looking beyond December sixteenth, what do you see yourself doing professionally with boxing? Man. Uh, First of all, get this win December 16th, and then after that, um, just keep keep getting more and more wins, uh, more experience, and then the ultimate goal and the dream is to become a world champion. So uh, what are some of the biggest challenges you face with your everyday training? Man, really, I would say the, the biggest challenge is the dieting. Um, I'm always on that weight cut, and so I have to stay away from all the the bad unhealthy foods, all the cravings, um, and on top of that, just being sore all the time. Like I'm just sore on the daily, so yep. that's probably the hardest thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you said it best. The hardest part is probably the food. I think yeah. everyone can everyone can say that. Yeah. As as uh, can you tell me a little bit about your everyday training life up to you know your new uh, professional debut? Yeah. Um, so in the mornings, I wake up super early, run about two to three miles. Th I try to make it three miles minimum. Um, I work from home, so it makes it a little easier too. So during my lunch break, um, that's where I'll get my like my weightlifting in, and then in the evenings after work, um, that's where I really focus on my boxing, um, hitting the bag, training with my trainer. Um, and then, so it's an everyday thing, though, right? It's an everyday. So with the boxing and everything, how do you balance that lifestyle of the training and then on top of being a family man and having yeah. all those responsibilities? So yeah, man, honestly, it's it's tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's it's really hard. Um, just running in the mornings um, and then working full time. And then on top of that, being a, a father of three, um, being a husband, like it, it's hard. But at the same time, um, you know, my family supports me 100 percent and makes it a little easier. Francisco, is there anything that you would like to say to your fans, your supporters out there for your fight on December 16th? Yeah. Um, first is thank you. Thank you so much. Um, as a boxer, you know, it, it, it's hard. It's really hard. So having that support behind us it's it's uh, it's a really really great to have that support and thank you for for supporting and continuing to support um and without my my friends and family i, w I wouldn't be here yeah man awesome well i'm preston Panato with 1440 photography uh, this is cisco here come and join us on december 16th so let's go